Hey, what's up, guys? This is RS Floyd 84. Um, Rob coming back with another comic book haul. Um, this is gonna be a combination of a comic show, um, a couple of my local comic shops. So we'll just get right into it. Now, all these books that I'm gonna show, I got for a dollar. Um, this was at a Jim and Dan's show here in um, Ohio, um, in the Dayton area. But I went here, I only had 40 bucks and it cost five to get in. So I mostly looked for dollar books. And then after I couldn't find dollar books, I picked up something bigger. Um, but we got hardware number one. We got Peter Parker, Spider-Man number 76. Sorry, my face is in there. Let me get out of there. 76, this is the first appearance of Crown. And then I found some uh, Brian Bolin, uh, Wonder Woman's, Wonder Woman number 76, Wonder Woman number 87, and then Wonder Woman 99. Just awesome Bolin covers. He does definitely draws Wonder Woman very good. Then I found this. This is New Year's Eve, uh, Prometheus number one, first appearance of Prometheus. Then I got this. It's a newsstand, but we got Hulk. Number one, I think this is the first cover of Talos, I think. I think, I don't know. But more importantly, I got it because it's a new stand. And then I got this famous battle. I got Hulk number 427 and then Hulk number 428. And then I got X-Factor number 92, first appearance of Exodus. Unfortunately, it wasn't a new stand, but for a dollar, why not? Pretty nice shape. This is pretty beat up, but... That's probably why it was a dollar. I was kind of surprised to get this for a dollar. And then I started looking it over. It's probably like a, probably like a six. But uh, first cameo of uh, Quarter Owls, I believe. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. And then I just got this because it was a newsstand. I like Moon Knight and Punisher. So all those were a dollar. And then I ended up, you know, I had um, about 25 left so i went ahead and bought this new mutants annual uh number two first appearance of psylocke in u.s form i think uh and i paid 25 bucks for that so new stand too always gotta have the new stand man then i went to my local comic shop um and got some dollar books um anytime i see wizards i'm picking them up you know, so I got that wizard. Here's another wizard book. And this is kind of a cool cover. And then you got another uh, wizard. Then I got New Warriors number 27. Um, this is supposedly is Simpsons are in this book in human form. So I, I think that's unofficial, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Then I got this. This is Midnight Mass number one. Never seen that before, um, so I picked it up. Uh, and then I got Machine Man number one, uh, new stand. Uh, I got Name War 26. This is the first J. Lee cover, I believe. And that's the brother of Jim Lee, I believe, right? Uh, so I picked that up for a dollar. Sorry, let me move that out of the way. This is kind of going to be not a long haul like the last one I had. Uh, this is X-Force 88. This is the first appearance of Armageddon Man. More importantly, it's a newsstand. Then I got this. This is kind of beat up. I probably shouldn't have bought it, but for a dollar, why not? That's X-Force 19. That's in dollar bins everywhere. But I hardly ever see it in the newsstand form, so I went ahead and picked that up. Then we got New Warriors number 61. That's the first full appearance of Spider-Side. And then we got New Warriors, uh, number 28. That's the first appearance of Turbo. I've never seen this before. And I thought it was pretty cool. But, um, got Slash Maraud, maybe? Number one. I, I've never even seen this. Don't know what it is. Couldn't tell you. But, I picked it up for a dollar, so. And then this is Luke Cage, number three. Featuring the Punisher, and it's also the first appearance of Luke Cage's dad. 
Then I got Stormwatch number one. Not sure why I picked that up. I was I was getting excited, I guess. Um, that's in dollar bins everywhere, of course. That image ninety stuff. Actually, you know what? Image ninety stuff. Let me just say this. I rather enjoyed that when I was younger, when I was a kid. But as I got older, um, you know, it's always DC Marvel for me. Um, Hawk and Dove, uh, number one. And then the last thing I got at this shop, and I was pretty excited to find it. Oh, and it's poly bagged, and it's a new stand. Spider-Man number one. Um, got that for 10 bucks. So that was all from that um, one of my local comic shops. Now, the, all the rest of this is going to be from my main local comic shop. The first two I'm going to show you, this is Nightwing number four. This is the first appearance of her. I don't know. I forget what her name is, but she's like really invested with her culture or something like that. I can't remember what it is, but it was also a newsstand. So I definitely picked that up. And this was also a dollar. These were not bagged and bored, so that two dollars it was just an extra bag I had. But this is uh, Marvel Two and One uh, Annual Number Six. This is the first appearance of a the American Eagle. So, and then I picked up some five dollar books. Um, got Adventure into Fear Number Fourteen. This is the first appearance of. I think his name's Dark Moo or something like that. Um, he's like a sorcerer or whatever. But really cool, you know, for five bucks. I'm definitely, you know, not going to leave that. Then I picked this up. Spawn number two. Just good memories. I wish it was a new stand, but five bucks. First appearance of the Violator. Then I got Spider-Woman number ten. First appearance of the Gypsy Moth. Then I got a couple issues of the Death in the Family for five bucks. I got uh, Batman 426. And then I got this Joker cover, Batman 429. So, nice little $5 deal on those. And then I got a nice Wolverine number 10 newsstand, $5. These are not like near men or anything. They're probably like 7.0s, 8.0s. And then I went there today, and this is where I really found a lot of good stuff for good prices. A lot of Silver Age and Bronze Age. So let me move those out of the way. So I got Sergeant Fury, Howling Commandos, number five. Five bucks, first appearance of Baron Strucker. This is probably like a one, 1 1.5 copy of this, or maybe even a two. Um, it's got some, it got an issue right there, but man, for five bucks, I ain't leaving that. And then I was happy to get all these. These are all nine bucks, all low grade, but for nine bucks, Fantastic Four number 32. And then I got Fantastic Four number 38. Then I got, uh, oh, these are out of order, but I got Wonder Woman number uh, 158. That's the second appearance of, and first cover appearance of Egg Fu. And I know these Wonder Womans are kind of hard to come by. And then this is Sergeant Fury number eight. I, there's their first appearance. I think it's Zemo. I think it's kind of tied with Avenger 6 for the full appearance, I think. Um, I didn't really look any of these up. Fantastic Four, number 31. I think that's the first appearance of, uh, um, Franklin Richards' dad. Why did I say Franklin? Reed Richards? Oh my god, I'm blanking so hard. <laughs> Mr. Fantastic's dad. Lord, help me. It's kind of like... Um, I got Fantastic Four, number 24, the first appearance of the Infant Terrible. Uh, Fantastic Four, number 64. I think this is the first appearance of the Kree race. And the first appearance of the Century Sinister, I think. Like I said, I didn't look any of these up. Werewolf by Night, number 39. Um, this is the first meeting between, um, Brother Voodoo and Werewolf by Night. 
And then I got Werewolf by Night number 27. I forget who, I think it's this first appearance, but I forget what it's called. So, sorry about that, guys. And then I got Werewolf by Night number 31. Love this cover for some reason, but um, this is the preview to Moon Knight. Then I got Army at War number 126. Nice gray tone cover. And it's the first appearance of Canary. So let me move that out of the way. And then probably the big book I got today. Um, this was X-Men uh, number 130, 130. First appearance of the Dazzler. And then I picked these up a while back. Uh, probably after I made that haul. My last haul, but... This is Thor 337. I uh, paid 75 bucks, but more importantly, it was a new stand. And I probably overpaid for this. If I may have been patient, I might have found this in a dollar bin. But, you know, it is what it is. This book, this shop has gave me so much good books that paying 75 bucks for this was not a big deal. And then the last book that I'm going to show, like I said, this is a short haul. Um, kind of want to put these books up. And I got this off eBay. I bid on it. And I got X Factor uh, number 24. I, I bid 20 bucks on it. I think it was like 10 shipped. Uh, but, you know, 30 bucks for this. And it's a new stand. Um, and then, you know, supposedly the first full appearance, even though he appears quite a bit in X Factor 23, I think. But regardless, awesome cover. Um, and that's my short haul. Uh, just wanted to get these books away. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'll probably, I'm going to keep hunting, so I'll probably have another big haul coming here. Um, there is a comic con coming up and then the, my local comic shop over here is doing repricing. So a lot of the $5 books that should be dollar books, he's going to make them a dollar. So hopefully when that happens, there's a bunch of books that I want out of that. But then I got to beat people there. So, but that's it. That's the haul. Thanks guys for watching. Goodbye.